look at how to evaluate variable expressions with whole numbers. Find the value of the expression if x equals 36. Okay, and our expression is x minus 35. When they give you a value that's equal to your variable, what we would do is substitute the number in place of the variable. So if you think about that word substitute, it means to put something in place of something else. You might have had a substitute teacher before, right? That means that that substitute teacher is going to take the place of your teacher for the day. So the same thing here, 36 is going to take the place of x in this expression. Okay, so originally we had x minus 15. So when we substitute, we're going to take that 36 and it's going to go where the x was. Okay, so we're going to say 36. Now normally when you substitute, you want to put the number in parentheses. But here, since we're just subtracting, we don't really need those parentheses. So we can think of this as just 36 minus 15. And now all I need to do is subtract. So 36 minus 15, that leaves me with 21. So x minus 15 is equal to 21. Find the value of the expression if x equals 48. Okay, well if x is equal to 48, I'm going to take that 48 and put it in place of x. So when I rewrite this expression, 27 plus, in place of x, I'm going to put 48. And again, you can start out with the parentheses. We're supposed to use them when we substitute, but sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes not. In this case, we're just adding. So we're going to think of it as 27 plus 48. Okay, and now all I have to do is add those numbers together, 27 plus 48, and that gives me 75. So the value of our expression is 75 when x equals 48. Find the value of the expression if x equals 47. Okay, well I'm gonna substitute and that means I'm going to put 47 in place of my x. So when I rewrite this, 47 plus 43, and I'm going to evaluate or work that out. Okay, and again, I don't really need the parentheses here. And now I'm going to add. Okay, 47 plus 43, that gives me 90. So our expression equals 90 when x is 47. Find the value of the expression if x equals 2. Okay, well I'm going to take that 2 and I'm going to put it in place of x. Okay, 2 times 9 and I want to see what that's equal to. Well 2 times 9 is 18, so the value of my expression is 18. And again, you could put parentheses here. Since they gave us the time symbol, it's okay either way. Find the value of the expression if x equals 4. Okay, well, I'm going to substitute or put the 4 in place of my variable x. Okay, so this is going to say 4 times 2. And of course, 4 times 2 equals 8. So when x equals 4, this expression is equal to 8. Find the value of the expression if x equals 9. Okay, so we're going to substitute or put 9 in place of x. So I'm going to say 27 divided by 9. Well, 27 divided by 9 gives me 3, so my expression equals 3 when x is 9. Find the value of the expression if x equals 5, and we have 45 divided by x. Okay, well whatever the variable is equal to, remember we substitute, 
or put that number in place of our variable. So I'm going to rewrite this as 45 divided by, in place of x, we're putting 5. Okay, oops, I left off my 5 here. 45, let's rewrite this a little neater. 45 divided by, and we said in place of x, we're putting our 5. Okay, well 45 divides evenly by 5. 45 divided by 5 just gives me 9. Find the value of the expression if x equals 2. Okay, so this time 2 is going to take the place of x. So I'm going to rewrite that as 4 divided by 2. And 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. Find the value of the expression if x equals 24. Okay, so we're going to put 24 in place of x. That means I'm going to have 49 minus 24. Okay, and that's going to give me 25. Find the value of the expression if x equals 6. Okay, well, I'm going to take 6 and put that in place of x. So instead of 7 times x, I'm going to rewrite this as 7 times 6. And 7 times 6 gives me 42. 